Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Nick, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you our favorite hatchlings of 2020 so far. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. To start off our Harlequin Project babies, this one comes from Mr. Butterworth and Louise, and this one is one that we're holding back as well, or one of our more exciting hatchlings. Just a really pretty Harlequin here. So here's the clutch mate to the one you just saw that also comes from Mr. Butterworth and Louise. Super pretty Harlequin, tons of sight patterning. And this, this Harlequin project has turned out really nicely for us. So this one comes from Mr. Butterworth and Betty. And this one is also one that I would think is going to be an extreme Harlequin without a doubt. It just has a ton, a ton, a ton of patterning even as it is like this little on that side patterning there it's kind of already touching the dorsal so we're super excited about this one this is a baby that hatched september 7th and is clearly an extreme harlequin right off the bat and just has crazy side patterning for only being two days old when this video was filmed and then now we're going to go ahead and show you the clutch mate which is also going to be an extreme harlequin. So now the clutch mate is on top of the one we just showed, which was Jackie. This top one's going to be Hyde. And this one's also an extreme, but you can kind of tell there's a bit of a pattern difference. I think that this one will stay extreme. I know for a fact the other one will because it just has an insane amount of pattern for being two days old, and so does this one. So let's go ahead and move on to the next gecko. Oh, it's doing the slow motion thing. This little one right here comes from Thurman. Partial pinstripe, as you can see. Super pretty gecko here. Love this one. The pinstripe has only gotten prettier as he or she has grown. Super dark contrast. This right here is another baby produced by Thurman super pretty little guy here really nice harlequin markings here just a really pretty gecko dash pinstripe up top super awesome gets that dark contrast from Thurman and then it also if you look up here the head looks like it's gonna be a nice size head on this little one so we love the kinda well though it might not be a tricolor it has some really pretty markings on it alright this is our last Thurman baby that we wanted to hold back and this one is gorgeous this one's a little tricolor uh, got some super nice Dalmatian spots on it honestly right now it's fired down and it, it kind of looks like a lily white on camera but I can assure you it is definitely not that but it does have some really awesome potential in the future if it's a female and we can pair it with Mr. Butterworth to add to the Harlequin project so Super pretty gecko here. Thurman throws some really nice babies for us, that's for sure. Okay guys, so this one right here comes from Tig and Donna. Now the interesting thing is, is we started this project to be our tiger project. But what happened is, is Tig kind of over time, he lost all the stripings and pretty much became a patternless orange gecko. So we'll see what happens with these babies, but this one's super interesting has tons upon tons of uh, Dalmatian spots on it as well, which is interesting because the parents don't have very many, so it's kind of strange. So I'm interested to see how this one grows, and then I'm gonna go ahead and pull out its clutch mate. So this is the clutch mate, super pretty gecko right here. Uh, also comes from Tig and Donna. Kind of has a ton of uh, has a ton of the uh, tiger markings as well on it, which is really pretty. This is one of Wayland's babies super dark super super duper dark little baby um does have some patterning on it but i can't i mean i guess it would be technically like i mean maybe a harlequin because it does have some patterning on it but other than that it's just got little dalmatian spots on it and kind of looks just like its mom so here we're showing off harriet harriet is one of willie's last babies and Willie was, uh, Willie, we sold Willie earlier this year. Um, and you can see it's a good, so as you can see, it's a really, really pretty quad stripe. I mean, uh, not quad stripe. It kind of looks like a quad stripe, but it has more of the phantom stripe and the pinstripe. So it's a very pretty gecko. Uh, I'm really excited to see what he or she grows into. 
but that is Willie's baby. All right, so now we're moving on to Billy and Jesse's babies. Billy and Jesse. All right, guys, so this is a gecko that was also from the same pairing that was Jesse and Billy, but we actually hit the full quad stripe, full pin stripes, got the side stripe on both sides there. This is a stunning gecko. And it was honestly the gecko that we just wanted to hit with this pairing. And just to show you guys the clutch mate here. So that's the clutch mate. As you can see, it's a partial pin. So there we go. It's a partial pin and it doesn't quite have the quad striping like this one does. So two super pretty babies. Can't wait to see what they grow into. This is a gecko that actually came from Mercury who's our super Dalmatian male. So strange, strange combination that popped out of um, him and his uh, pairing. So really interesting baby here though, has like some really pretty intense colors on it and has a partial, almost full pinstripe there as well. So I'm kind of interested if this one grows into to see how many spots it gets over time. This is one of Mercury's babies and this was kind of more what we expected to hatch from Mercury. As you can see, this baby actually looks like it's going to be a Super Dalmatian. It has tons upon tons of spots on it. And it's just a really gorgeous gecko. And it's only had a couple sheds. So it'll be very interesting to see what this gecko turns into. Here is one of Wayland's babies that is quite a bit bigger now. Uh, this one is actually available on Morph Market. But as you can see, just tons of really nice spots. Um, also has portholes, which I like how the white portholes play in a Dalmatian gecko, especially a dark based one. It looks really, really nice. But this is just a really pretty overall gecko. Okay, so this is also one of Wayland's babies that we also do have for sale on our Morph Market page. Um, this gecko is super interesting. This was Spot, because you can see that cluster right there. So, also still looking female at about 13 grams now, but we think we're going to part with her, question mark, maybe. So, we will see. But this is Spot, also one of Wayland's babies. Alright guys, and one last but not least is Egbert. And Egbert also comes from uh, Wayland. Eggbert has a ton of spots on him, really nice portholes. Eggbert is a male though, so he is up on our morph market right now. Um, I don't know if he's a super Dalmatian, but he's very close if he's not. And then those sides that have that nice white tone to it. But this is Eggbert, so definitely one of our one of our favorite. And if it was if it would have been a female, we definitely would have kept Eggbert. But you're a male, so you got to go. Nick was really about to film this video without including Rufus the runt and that was way too rude so I had to come over here and show you guys him. This is little Rufy and he is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. He was born out of his egg really 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 early but he ended up making it and I'm so thankful because I think he's the cutest little guy there ever was. Alright guys that's the video. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video be sure to subscribe. There's something like 84% of my viewers aren't subscribed, so come on, get, get on the team. Let's get this thing going. So hit that like button, go ahead and subscribe, it really helps the channel out. And just be sure to stay safe and stay positive. I'll see you guys on the next one.